it is time now for Mayor Monday. Sitting immediately east of Portland is the city of Gresham, a dynamic community that has seen many changes over the years. Yeah, and a lot more people moving into that area mm -hmm. as well. Gresham experiencing many of the same issues that Portland is seeing right now. And joining us live with updates for the city of Gresham is Gresham Mayor Travis Stovall. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Emily. Well, let's talk about uh, urban renewal out in the Gresham area. How's the city evolving with its plans for that? You know, our urban renewal got started in 2003, and we have seen a, a lot of success in West Gresham and the Rockwood area. It's been incredible to see the developments that have come out of this in, incredible investment in that portion of our community. And we get the opportunity uh, as community members to vote to extend that for a few years uh, because of things like the Great Recession, and the pandemic has slowed some of that, some of that growth and opportunity that we've had there. And so we look forward to our community folks supporting this extension so they can see much of this incredible work going on that we've seen all around the community, but specifically in the West Gresham Rockwood area. So uh, we look forward to having more years to execute on the grand plan. You know, as we have started to see some of the um, economies pick back up here, you know, in the pandemic, post pandemic, uh, one thing that we continue to struggle with is community safety. You know, we focused a lot on 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 the city of Portland and, and policing issues and violence here. How are things in Gresham right now? How is the situation with law enforcement, with emergency response? Great question, Emily. As you've already recognized, uh, everybody across the country and, and specifically here, in the metro areas experienced a rising crime uh, due to the pandemic, due to a, a lot of things. Uh, here in Gresham, uh, we're, we're actually, sadly enough, not any different. Uh, we've seen uh, rises in both violent crime, violent crime and theft, and those things are negatively impacting our community. Uh, we actually uh, took uh, some of our ARPA funds to increase our, our law enforcement investments uh, because we know uh, we're here in Gresham, we're really focused on not defunding the police, we're really focusing on ensuring we've, we've got police forces that represent our community, have the right training. And that's something that's been a hallmark here in Gresham is the focus on that. We support that both medium and long term, though. We've also got to be looking at opportunity and engagement. Without those things, we will miss the grand plan of executing and ensuring that we've got a safe community. And again, that's things like our youth violence prevention program, our parks and recreation opportunities, and ensuring that through economic development, we're giving people the ability and opportunity to bring themselves from poverty to prosperity. So it's a comprehensive approach that we have to take and we are taking, but clearly here in Gresham, we're not, uh, we're not seeing anything different than what other, uh, other cities across the country are faced with. And we are taking every effort to ensure that we're putting things in place to keep Gresham safe. Are you experiencing some of the same issues that we're seeing in Portland with officer shortages and, and uh, a difficulty hiring new officers? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We, we're down about 15 officers, which is a little more than 10% of our force, of our sworn officer force. And uh, normally we're at about 5 to 6%. So we're about double our normal vacancy. And we're seeing uh, the same challenges. We've got hiring bonuses. We've got retention things and bonuses that we have in place. Uh, those types of things encourage folks to stay on our team. Uh, but yes, we are absolutely experiencing uh, some of the same things that uh, Portland is experiencing in other cities across the metro. Yeah, it's uh, been tough for uh, all of those cities, including Gresham. So, uh, you know, we definitely feel your pain here in Portland. Uh, let's talk about uh, your outdoor spaces. You know, Gresham Home, there's some outstanding outdoor spaces. Uh, so tell us about the efforts for your parks and recreation. Uh, any new plans, any new parks or any upgrades to what you already have? Absolutely. Actually, just over the weekend, I had a chance to tour one of our undeveloped parks. And it's, it's opportunities like that that really get me excited about the future of Gresham. We've, but recently, we just, got a, we just got roughly $5 million worth of investment that we're going to be making in Graydon Sports Park, which is really a focus, again, on that engagement and opportunity for our youth and beyond. And so that's a location that's in Southeast Gresham that gives us a tremendous opportunity to really build out a very important asset in our community. And then we've got other areas. Uh, Shaw property is something that we purchased with the Metro bond funding uh, just last year. We're going to be developing that uh, location into more of a natural setting. Uh, but you're right, Ken. Uh, Gresham has a lot of natural outdoor uh, settings, especially since we're here at the mouth and the edge of the gorge, uh, the south of the Columbia River, and just, just west of the Sandy River. So tremendous opportunities 
to leverage what Mother Nature has given us. Yeah, lots of exciting things to, to look forward to. Gresham Mayor Travis Stovall, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so very much, Ken and Emily. Great to see you again. Here.